title block in the bottom right corner. So we're just going to work off the bottom right corner here. Uh, on your handout, you'll notice that we have dimensions on there. So for example, let's work from the bottom right corner out. So you've got 28 mil wide by a 14 mil wide uh, height uh, box saying DWG uh, hashtag. The hash means number, so it's drawing number, and that is A01 at the current stage. Um, so we're going to create all these boxes individually, and we create them as rectangles. So just remember that in Rhino, if you're going, it's usually from left to right, up, uh, down to up. So clicking on the rectangle, clicking on the box here. So if I type in 28, uh, enter, 14, enter, what would happen is that it goes the other way. So we need 14 is fine because we're going up. But if you want to go the other way, you're going to type in negative 28. Does it? So that's your first box. So the next one is 21. So negative 21, 14. And then the one after that is negative 28. And then 7. Negative 28, 7. So I'll get you guys to finish that rest of that title block off. If you can't, if negative is doing your head in, we can create the boxes going from left to right and then move the whole thing into place afterwards. But um, I'm sure most of you guys can handle this. Let's move on to putting the text in. So, this, just want to clarify with you guys that we're not using the text tool on the left hand side because that's actually creating 3D text objects and vector text objects. We're using the text under drafting tab up the top. So, make sure you click on that drafting tab and we'll be using this particular text tool. Okay, we're going to create text at the top here. Um, so, to fill in all the text in the text boxes, we're going to click on this text box and just click on the top left corner. Okay, just follow me in this case. Other things that you need to change would be, so on each one of those text boxes it gives you a, a particular text uh, font size. Uh, the type of font you use, um, let's pick Arial for now because this seems to be a standard thing that it's easily uh, found on most computers. Uh, we're going to go 2.5. Ignore the masking, just leave this checked on. Uh, it needs to be in bold, as in indicated on your handout. So we do it left justify and top justify, okay? So line it to the top. I'll explain why we'll keep it to the top left corner of all your boxes um, afterwards. Text field, input text, we don't need that. So then afterwards you can just type in um, just put your initials in for now. Uh, if you have a logo, we can actually, instead of putting text in there, we can actually put a logo or graphic in there afterwards. Okay, it looks silly now. Just trust me, we'll, we'll sort out afterwards. Okay, so the next one is same size font, same size uh, 
text type. We're going to put project. Uh, let's go uh, assessment. <laughs> and they won't um, they'll look a bit messy so this is my way of actually making them uh, moving them uh, much easier so I'll get you guys to select all your text boxes okay, once you select them all I'll uh, get you guys to turn on the little gumball icon on the bottom right, uh, bottom of the page. Okay, so once you've selected all the text, uh, with the gumball on, we can just double click on the red arrow pointing to the right. Um, that means you can now uh, uh, give it a, a number or unit to how far it moves to the right hand side. So I'm going to press 2. And then I'm going to click on the green arrow and go negative two. And now you can see that we've given um, maybe we'll just go back one little space. Negative one. Okay. So keep everything aligned. So instead of going to the right. Two, we're just going to go across to the right once. What was the green one? Uh, the green one going up. Uh, we're going to go negative two. And then the red one, just one. So now it looks neat, tidy, um, and it lines to one edge. Um, so if you want to change any of these details, some of you guys may have found out already, all you need to do is just double click on your text and you can change that detail. If you want to make changes to the font sizes, if it's done right, you won't need to, but if you do need to, click on that, go to your properties panel on the right hand side, click on the text option. Now you have the option of changing your fonts, uh, font sizes um, and the full description of alignments if you need to do that. Okay, um, go to the next page. You have three more title blocks to do and we're going to create these. So using the same principles, same methods that we just described. Uh, just do them off the page because um, for example your materials list your revision block and your approval block does not always have to be on this page. Um, your materials list would only need to go on there if there is an object that has materials, which most of the time you do need to. Uh, your revision block is only used when there is a revision describing what has been changed. Uh, it's great for you guys to have a revision block so that you know that that particular object or that request has been changed and is documented in your drawings. So if a client asks you to change from one material to another, make sure you write it down or the size of the stone has been changed. So you know your objects, your drawings are up to date. Uh, your approval block is something that you put on once your client has been signed or for your client to sign or have been approved by your senior designers or yourself. Um, try to get your signatures on your drawings so it indicates that someone's seen it.
too. Um, the other thing about you notice is the the reference number in here. So you'll go reference one, two, three, four, five. Um, if you look at your handout on here, each one of those will be used in your perspective view to identify what materials uh, you're pointing at the object based on your materials list. Um, the beauty about how you guys are constructing your material list is you can actually select the rectangle uh, and the text as a row quite quickly. If you have another three or four materials in here, you can select that row with the text and we can copy one, two, three. And you just have to go change the numbers in the description. So it makes life much easier. So I don't need them for now. So just leave as one row for now and then you can copy it down if you need to.